this is your girl Fatima Yvonne from Peace Love and Artistry and this is a moisturize with me because I'm moisturizing my hair okay so actually today I want to tell you guys my birth story because I cannot find the time to sit down and everything is perfect and all that good stuff so you guys can see me but I didn't get to do my makeup or my hair so we can do hair at the same time as I tell you guys the story so anywho if you guys watched my last video um, about me was I in labor? Yes or no? Uh, the answer is technically yes, but in textbook, no. Um, so that day, I when I got to the birthing center, um, they checked to see how dilated I was. And that was at like, what, I got there around noon. Um, so at that time, I was about five centimeters dilated. Um, so you know progressing but not quite there I believe active labor is technically one year between seven centimeters um, if anything I will put a note at the bottom because I got my paperwork when I took my birthing class that tells me so if anything I'll put it at the bottom just so you guys will be informed anywho so I was five centimeters so I had called my doula you know once I found out I was um five centimeters and let her know like hey they said I'm five centimeters and she's like okay I'll be there within you know an hour or so um so while I'm there the whole time I wanted to set up my camera you guys like I was like all right taking stuff out sorry I heard baby crying I was like wait a minute Anywho, okay, so um, the whole time I wanted to set up my camera, but I'm telling you, you guys, those contraction pains, man, they literally have you, like, bent over. And then I was also tired because I had been, you know, having contractions throughout the night the day before. So, um, once my doula got there, it got better because she kept me focused. Um, like, basically, when you have contractions, you're not supposed to just, like... Ah, I'm having contractions. Ah, it hurts. You're supposed to like breathe deep, which you guys kind of saw me do in the last video. Um, you're supposed to take deep breaths and kind of stay on top of them and, you know, just keep your focus on your breaths and not the pain, which is very difficult, by the way. Very, very difficult. Anywho, so once she got there, it got better. So um, over the next several hours, we continued to walk around the building um, which I didn't want to do but my doula said that and her name is Sherry by the way she's awesome um, I'll put a link to her website and her services up down here also um, she said that um, being active um, progresses labor you know so we took several trips and walks around the building and in between those I'm walking and then we got to stop. I got to have my contraction and breathe through it. And then we do some walks, contraction and breathe through it. So I'm not going to lie, it's very difficult. So it, was in, it wasn't until about, I want to say, mm, like 8 p.m. I was finally in active labor at 8 p.m. Was it 8 p.m.? No, I don't want to say that. I don't know you guys I'm getting confused now anywho 8 p.m. around 8 p.m. ish I was like eight centimeters dilated or whatever so it's like whoa we're really here now um, so from there I was happy you know because we were like really good um, I didn't have to keep walking and all this other kind of stuff which I did do a couple uh, a couple more walks and stuff like that around the building um, so about an hour or two later then I got in the um, earthing pool, which when I tell y'all, that felt so good. Like, I don't know how they do it, but the water that they put in there was so warm. Like, I felt like I was in a jacuzzi tub without the bubbles. Like, legit. It felt so great, you guys. It was so relaxing. Um, and, that you know, so once I was in there, it was like, okay, whenever you're ready, you can push. And I was like, push? Okay, so you know, I'm trying to, I'm doing my labor pains and stuff in there, well, contracting, whatever, and I'm trying to push, but you know, those little rubber pools and stuff, um, 
you kind of lose your footing. So I'm like struggling here because, you know, I'm still in pain. I'm in labor um, and I'm trying to like get my footing so I can kind of like squat and like push. And I couldn't figure out how to do it for the life of me. And I know that sounds really slow. Like, what do you mean you can't like, because I know a lot of people were like, put, you're supposed to push like you're pooping or something like that. And I'm like, okay. And I kept trying to do that, but I just felt like nothing was happening, which things were happening, but you know, me, it's my first time. I didn't know. So after being in the pool for a couple hours, they were like, all right, let's try something different. So we got out of the pool, um, laid on the bed, tried to push on the bed. Like, you know, I have my legs up like this, <laughs> like basically like, you know, super close to like they were spread open, you know, and then whatever up high. <laughs> I had people hold my legs. I was trying to push in the bed. The issue with me was, um, with pushing that I had was that I would push once we got to this point because this is like we're getting closer to the time um, so this is like 10 11 o'clock 11 yeah 10 11 o'clock um, I'm pushing right and I'm just like so I'm like <gasps> pushing and then I <gasps> and then I suck him back in y'all tell you muscles is on fleek because I sucked I will push him down into the birthing canal so they could see him, you know, because they're looking. And then I would take a deep breath in and suck him right back in. Who does that? Who does that? Um, yeah, so they were like, no, you got to stop sucking in like that. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, I'm getting so mad. I was like, the whole time, you guys, there's like several times I was like, this sucks. This sucks, like, because of the pain. Oh, the contractions. Let me tell you, you guys. Okay, so. So, oh, I already told you guys in the last video, um, but as they got worse, it felt like my lower back, it felt like someone was like stabbing me in my lower back, like constant pressure, just like felt like somebody was just with a knife. I had a pair of scissors really quick, I'll show you all, but it was just like, <sighs> it was like, <sighs> and it hurt so bad. So I'm in pain with the contractions because I still get them. They still come up and around, but then they hurt worse on that back part. It was oh terrible. Anywho, so you guys, I was sitting there telling the staff, and they were amazing. My mom was there, you know, my dad was there, and everything like that. But I kept telling the staff, I was like, and my doula Sherry, this sucks. This sucks, and it's mainly because it hurt. Like it sucks, you know, whatever. So they're like, all right. You need some gravity. And I was like, something. I need something because I need to get him out. He needs to come out. So they end up putting me on a birthing stool, which I will link at the end of this. I will link some pictures because um, I'm not going to. I did take video, but it's like super personal because I was kind of naked. So <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys that. But um, I will link some pictures at the end. So stay tuned to the very end if you want to see everything. Um... So, yeah, so they ended up putting me on what this thing is called a birthing stool, which I will put a picture of that birthing stool. And so I had to sit on that like they lined it with like, you know, paper stuff, whatever. And they actually ended up putting a mirror. So it's like a, a stool shape, shaped like a U. And they ended up putting a mirror down there. And so I could actually see because I felt like you guys, I felt like I was just pushing and there wasn't anything coming out like it was just like poop coming out or something like that and I was like what the heck is going on like why can't I push my baby out so I thought it was just poop coming out but it was actually blood and like stuff from the placenta stuff was coming out so it was good so after being on the stool and struggling and grabbing on to everybody I had my doula behind me, I had my mom behind me, I had um, one of the midwives. I was squeezing her, pushing and everything like that. So finally, around 1.30 in the morning, the next day, I had my baby. Yeah. And he actually came out with one push. So I was like, and he just came out. Like he 
for one push. I didn't have to do the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I thought I was going to have to do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I did not. I pushed him out. One good push. I literally pushed him out, and she gave him to me, and I was like, oh. I put him right here, and I was like, I have a baby. And then you know what happened? He pooped on me. <laughs> Which is good because at least he didn't poop inside because that would have been, then I would have probably had to go to the hospital. I would have had to go to the hospital. But yeah, so I was in labor longer than what I said, but I was in labor about 11 hours. But you know, there's different stages to labor, active labor and all this other stuff. So yeah, I'll clarify it in the description box. There we go. So you guys will know and you won't be confused. Um, but yeah, that is my birth story. So I am sad to say that I did not push my baby out in the water because I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I still pushed him out. No anesthesia. The only thing I had that day was I think a Motrin, like 800 or something like that. Or a Tylenol or something like that. Tylenol? Motrin? Something? I don't know. She gave, My doula gave me something. But something to help with the pain. But it ain't really do nothing. It was over-the-counter medication. <laughs> to say that just say no but yeah so I had a natural birth and I would do it again and if I you know am still living in Michigan I would definitely go back to that birthing center because the staff was amazing I love all of them because the midwives were amazing actually and the pictures I'm gonna link at the end one of the midwives she actually took the pictures for me so photo credit goes to her Melissa hey <laughs> Um, but yeah, so yeah, that is it, you guys. If you guys have any other questions or if there's any other things you guys want me to talk about, about my birth and whatnot, comment down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And like I said, if you guys have any, um, video topics or ideas or things you guys want me to talk about, I will. And then stay tuned for the photos. And they're not cute, by the way. They're not cute. So... I know I'm cute, not right now, I'm okay, but these photos are, the struggle was real, okay, so be nice. Alright you guys, see you soon. Mm.